Hello everyone, what's going on? It's Eric and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we obtained the Earth Element. And we are now going to head over to speak to the Elder, who requested to see us after we grabbed it, so let's go. Hi Elder, how you doing? So, you have found the Earth Element. You are blessed with much courage and strength for one so young. If your conviction holds strong, head to Mount Cornell. There you will find a man named Melari. Among all the Minish, there is no one more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, he will surely reforge a broken Picori blade. I shall send word to him in advance. Travel safely. You are brave, but there are many evils now in the world. Leave through this door here. It will take you out of the forest quickly. Great Elder, we are in your debt. We shall head for Mount Crenel at once. I don't quite think that's as low as it was. Also, if you pay attention back here, this literally shows every four elements. So there's earth, water, air, and then fire. Now what you want to do, if you come up here, green clothes and a mystical hat. Sir, would you be... By chance be Eric, the one who found the Earth Element? Surely you are. I've heard so many tales about you. I am Bellari, researcher of antiques. I am also, well, a bit of an inventor. You know, you won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. Bombs. Literally, he just gave us bombs. So, that is literally, like, the happiest fucking moment of our lives. Oh, as much fun as it's been being a minish, time to return back to normal size. Oh, also this. Yes, check this out. Holder of the sacred power, we grant sacred powers. We grant you the power of wind. Hmm. Whoa! It it blew up. Hey, kid, look where that stone used to be. There's some kind of strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why that must be? Well, I have it the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm. He'll say almost the same. If I recall, he'll say the same thing every time, but. uh... You'll want to keep an idea as to where those are because it's a little important for later. Ta -da. Also, five rupees. It's kind of nice. Also, bombs. Ah. Only waste one bomb. Got five more. Hmm. Okay. Listen. All right. Now, time to grab this mushroom and hoo Woo! Yeah. Alright, now, if you want, you can come out this way and explore. Oh shit, I just placed two bombs. Give me bombs, please. Heart. Guess I'll take that. Alright, there's a little minish house right there. If you double tap R before you, uh, switch, then, uh, You'll be able to do that. Hey, look at this kinstone piece. Have you ever seen one like this? What? You don't know what a kinstone piece is? Well, tell you what. Why don't you come back and see me when you get one, okay? Oh, right. Kinstones. Oh, my favorite part of the game, literally. But, uh, yeah, he won't do anything for us until we basically have what is called a kinstone piece, which we'll be getting those hopefully in this episode. Also, 20 mysterious shells. Take the time and uh, look around, because you never know if like there'll be some form of secret, aka enemies, within certain degrees. And a heart. Also, remember this little thing on the ground right there? That's not going to be important until later, but just keep it in mind. Also, uh, anytime you blow away the debris that is covering the roads, I believe it will stay gone. And also, yeah, now we'll start finding mysterious shells by cutting grass and blowing up rocks. Ah! My favorite enemies! I will fuck you up! You ain't getting away from me. What the hell do you think you are? Oh, I love doing that. 
And now we're back here, South Hyrule Field. Now if you come behind your house... Oh, what is this? Ow, fuck. Another one of these. Sick powers, can't the power of wind. Stone obelisk crumbled, and this is one of those marks. You know, I know how many times I see it happen, it still rattles me. You know, it's only happened about twice now, so El Ezlo, shut the fuck up. Sorry. Anyway. Come this way. Ta-da, look at that. Also, a uh, little bomb wall down here. Get rid of that. I can't remember if there's something important in that. Oh, I think there is. I don't really remember. Oh! Fairies! Yeah, okay. That'd be important. Yeah, fairy fountain right underneath here. If you ever feel low on energy, go get a fairy fountain. Anyway. Yeah, there's nothing we can do right here now. I think this little spot here is important. I don't quite remember fully. Sorry. Now, welcome to the Western Wood, where we can't get anywhere over that way until we get to the other side and push that rock into there. So, eh, can't do nothing. We got nothing. <laughs> ah. Well. Now, this part's a little creepy, but this is where we get kinstones. Come one, come all, see how many kinstone pieces you collect. We are surrounded, we cannot go anywhere. You never know what fusing kinstones will do, but it's sure to be good. Come up and get your free kinstone bag and for holding your kinstone pieces. Don't miss out on this incredible once in a lifetime opportunity. Yes, yes, you're here for a free kinstone bag, aren't you? That's right, maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now. Ta da, we now have kinstone bags. And we'll get to that in just a moment. Fitting two kinstone pieces together is called kinstone fusion. If you get two kinstone pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come your way. You can put a kinstone piece in your kinstone bag. I'll put a kinstone piece in your kinstone bag so you can give it a try. Anyone who's ready and willing to fuse kinstones will look like I do right now. When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you press L. Yep. Yes, I caught all that. Alright, press L and we'll do that. He is the hurdy gurdy man. And if we do that, it will fit perfectly. And you get to see where it goes to unlock a secret. I know exactly where that is, so we're gonna go grab that after we get done talking to Hurdy Gurdy. Well, oh, damn, I was hoping that wouldn't show. Yeah, it's basically right by your house. A perfect that means we're both due for a little happiness. See ya! And the kids will follow them. Anywho. Let's head back out to grab that real quick because that is something that we would really kind of want at this moment. Basically to find it is come down here to the steps of your home and just go slice down those trees, just come right here. Piece of heart. And we have a new heart container because of the three we grabbed, or because of the two we grabbed in deep wood, the one outside of deep wood, and now that, so boom, another heart container. That's awesome. Also, what the hell is down here? Octorox. Ah, also, oh yeah, that little vine right there, kind of keep a memory as to that. Oh, also if you see a tree shining, I think that means there's something... Oh, right, 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 okay, never mind. I know it's there. I know it's there now. It took me a moment to stop and think. Whenever you see a tree glowing like that, that means there is a Minish Portal beneath it. So, if you happen to see any trees glowing, keep those in your memory. Anyway, welcome back to Hyrule Town. So, we couldn't really explore anywhere out here, but... Talk to them. I am Swiftblade, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here? Please. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack! First, press and hold down your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might! That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes. Haha, <laughs> very good. You're a quick you're a very quick student. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body as to demonstrate the technique. I call this the swift bait switcheroo technique of training. Watch this. Switch ah roo Whew. 
Now, you must try it yourself. Press hold on your sword button, burn the power, and then release your destructive might. That's all there is to it. Basically, just hold down A and sw and when it charges up, let go. Yes! Fine work! You are a quick study. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with the scroll. You may view it any time from the quest status screen. And yes! Basically, our tiger scrolls are right here. This will teach us. This will show. Oh, hey, we have this. Also, our elemental circle. Also, our kinstone bag. The kinstone bag will uh, look like that if there's like nothing or very little pieces in there. And when it's full, it'll look pretty large. Okay, anyway. Now, talk to him again, because there are no more techniques I can teach you with your current sword. Come again when you have a new sword in hand. Yeah, basically, he'll give you a little hint as to like when you can come back and train with him. So, yeah, it looks like we can't right now. Also, remember this little bridge, because, you know, we'll end up having to go that way. Also, I do not know how to freaking get over there. Yeah! Hey, I want to know what I heard. I don't think kids see the Pikori. See, he has... See, he wants to fuse, but unfortunately, we can't fuse with him. Also, yeah, there's a lot of rubble there. Don't worry about that later. Also, bread place. Very nice, very nice. We'll end up having to come back to that. Also, remember this. We won't be able to get there now, but just keep a remembrance on it. Whee! Ugh. Ah, shit, that's right, we can't swim yet. Okay, come back to this well later, because uh, there is treasure in there. Huh, that's unfortunate. They're not open yet. Oh, right, uh... Also, this is the school building. No, this is the mayor's house. That mustache... That mustachioed guy strikes me as somewhat unreliable. There's something of issue about this room, too. There's nothing we can really do here yet, so... Just end up coming back to it later. That's the teacher's place. Also, another one of the marks. Almost called it by what it truly is, but yeah, we'll get to later. Also, none of these guards will let you pass until you show them something interesting. Which I'll be getting to that in just a brief moment. Also, we cannot go down this way because this dog is blocking the way. Also, manage house. Oh, right, the post office. Stamp, stamp, right to left. I think he'll say anything else to us at this moment. Stamp, stamp, it never ends, though. Stamp, stamp, right to left. Okay, yeah, I guess he's not gonna tell us anything at the moment. If we come back later, we'll be able to do something interesting. Oh, so you've learned the spin attack. It's still dangerous, but maybe you can handle it. Well, let's see how you do. Show me the spin attack. Basically, stand back a little bit, show him the spin attack, and every guard, I believe, will let you through now. Welcome to the Trilby Highlands. You'll want to come down, yeah, you'll want to go down this ladder and blow through that. Also, uh, after you blow that away, grab your shield. Huh. Hello, sir. Okay, you like me. Yes, he will sell you a bottle for 20 rupees. You will need this bottle. Because otherwise you won't be able to progress at, like, all. And also, don't worry about this right now, because we'll end up getting back to that. Okay, let's see. Uh, Royal Valley, not Cornell. Yeah, Royal Valley is somewhere we'll end up having to go later. Okay, there's another one of those, remember that. Alright, welcome to the base of Mount Cornell. Love the music here. Yeah. Awesome. Climb up this to grab 20 rupees. 
Because, you know, who doesn't want 20 rupees? Hello, sir. I'm going to tell you something good for Seth to chill the before I... Okay, yeah, he'll just tell you about the bottle. If you didn't grab the bottle, he would tell you about it. But this is where you're going to need the bottle. Swoop up the water. And drop it straight on this, because that will cause this to grow. Ta-da! Grab another thing of water just as an in case. Oops. Oopsie. I kind of pulled a dumb on that one. Also, remember the green stuff. Also, these are tektites. They're nasty little bastards. <laughs> Do not have very many bombs. Yeah! Come in here, fairies. And 15 rupees. Not really much to go off of, but, eh, you know. Now, you want to grab the gust jar for this part, because you'll be able to suck up that stuff. Not really actually sure what the hell it is, but you can get it. Oh, one bomb. Bad. Okay, we're going to want to use our one bomb here. I'll just start slashing the shit out of anyone. Ah, the infamous red shoe that will disappear until you get close to it. Give me bombs. Damn you! Yes, this is also Minish Rock. But we have no bombs, so we can't really break that at the moment. So, let's go this way. Hopefully we can get some bombs somewhere. So maybe these rocks will be bombs. Damn it! Okay, that didn't work. Also, don't touch the, uh, that stuff because it will damage you. Hello? Ah, business scrub. I command you, sell me bombs! Ten of them for 30 rupees. Worth it! Fuck, I just literally did that, didn't I? Alright, toss one bomb up there. We'll come back to that. Trust me. We'll definitely need to. Also, uh... I think now would be a good time to empty out your bottle. Let's choose one. Come back yet. Now, here's an interesting little thing. Don't, don't like, drop a bomb and then go switch into Minish. You want to blow it up and then turn into a minish. Ah, oh, right, since it's our first time on this one, we can't exactly skip the animation. You know, I'd figure that'd be a lot more painful than a mushroom. So this perfectly normal looking stone was another port in a minish world. I suppose I would have remembered that if I stopped to think about it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you would, so. Anyway. Come up here. It'll make your trip back down easier if you just kill every enemy. Not because of these. Oh, where the hell did that come from? Where the fuck did that come from? Okay. Now grab your bottle. This is literally special stuff. This is the Mount Cornell, or the Cornell Hot Spring Water. Save that. For all that is freaking holy, save that water. If you lose that water, you gotta come all the way back through here just to get it. So let's go turn back to a minute, or back to normal, my bad. Yeah. Right, I believe that this would actually be a perfect time to stop the episode since I'm almost at 20 minutes, so anyway, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. I will see you guys in the next episode. So until then, this is Eric signing off. I will see you guys later.